freemmostation.com. Hey guys, my name is Orbit and I'm here with Smile Before Death and we are going to give you a detailed review on DC Universe Online. So first of all, we're going to talk about what is DC Universe Online. So Smile, maybe you can start us off on what that actually is. Yeah, sure. Hi guys. Basically, DC Universe Online is what it says. It's a huge universe with detailed cities between Gotham, Metropolis, and both cities have all these iconic players such as Batman, Superman, Lex Luthor, Bane, Joker. Every iconic you can think of, they are in the city with their own instances. You can play with them, you can fight against them. And DC Universe is just a universe to, to kind of get lost within the game with your friends or against your friends. Yeah, so. and it's very, very good. Um, so let's actually talk about the story of... DC Universe Online and where we are at when we start the game. So first of all, Lex Luthor, um, the villain of Superman, has come and he's pretty much destroyed um, all of the heroes in a huge battle. There's been a huge battle and Lex Luthor kind of ends up coming up on top and he's killed all of the superheroes. Then kind of Brainiac comes and invades Earth and Lex Luthor is by himself and he can't defend against um, Brainiac. So what Lex Luthor does is he goes back in time and he releases these exabytes into Earth giving everybody superpowers. Okay, and that's where you come in come in line. So you are one of these people who have gained a brand new superpower and you need to defend against what's about to come to you, which is Brainiac and all these kinds of stuff which is coming in the game. So let's start off with character creation smile. Yeah, character creation is a good point to start with in the game of course. And you build your own superhero or super villain. You can uh, change the powers, the stance the gear, you can look like Batman, Catwoman, you can look like your favourite iconics. Or, or you can go more custom and start customising your character from scratch with like styles of gear from boots to legs to waist to chest to hands to the face to the hair. If you want to ha have ginger hair, why not have ginger hair, you know what I'm saying? So it's <laughs> very customisable. Even the way you stand, the way you pose and stuff like that, you can customise that. Character creation is, is a good start of expressing who you are. Are you an evil type of guy? Are you a good guy? And this is a perfect way of expressing of your inner feelings of are you good or bad? And that character creation is the best way forward to express that. Yeah, and you can also obviously pick what power you have. You've got fire, electricity, ice. There's so many that you can pick from. Um, so you can pick your actual power that you're going to be playing with in the game. You can also pick your weapon. You've got bows to hand blasters. There's so many weapons you can use as well. So the level of customization is awesome. Okay, And you don't need to stay that style. What, this is what I like about DC Universe Online. You can p pick a style at the start, but when you're collecting all of this gear they're going to look really, really cool, and you're going to want to slap that gear on to show, to kind of show everybody the gear you've been getting. But if you don't want that, you can still be simple and still be powerful as well. So character creation is very, very cool. Yeah. It's very cool character creation. So moving on to leveling. Um, obviously, you'll, you'll kind of have like an introductory thing of your character, um, and you will be doing different missions. If you're a villain, you're going to be doing like evil missions, like um, killing policemen and causing destruction. If you're a hero, you're going to be saving people and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I really like the leveling system. What about you, Swab? Uh The leveling system is it's up to level 30, which doesn't take too long, but it teaches the player the loadout, the powers, the movement mode, the, the ideal behind the universe that you have to complete quests, uh, level up, get stronger, and you, you can clearly see ahead of you 
on the duty menu that there are high class missions that you need to get stronger and level up, get better gear and stuff like that. One of my favourite missions is the Bane Tower. Why? Because I like Bane and it's very exciting to level up and experience those iconic storylines behind the universe of DC, you know? Yeah, and they've got um, briefings and um, investigations which you can go around and pick up and they'll give you little bits to the story um, as well to help you learn the story. Uh, so that's really, really good as well. Obviously, when you're doing these missions to level up, you're going to be getting more powerful gear, you're going to be fighting bosses and all kinds of stuff. So when we get to the max level, is that the end of the game, Smile? No, it's just the start of the game. You get to level 30, and then you are looking at doing all of the higher content, which we will be getting into soon. And not just that, you have to concentrate on skill points, which include feet hunting. And I do believe you have the most skill, one of the most players, you are a player that has a lot of skill points. Am I right, Albert? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I spend a lot of time doing feats because you can actually make your your character stronger by doing this. So you're going to have to be doing speed feats and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, in the max level content, you've got duos, which is you and one of your friends going into a instance and completing a, a like a mission inside an instance in a completely new area. You've got four player stuff. You've um, you've got Eight player raids as well, which are very, very cool. And you've also got solo challenges as well. So, I mean, there's plenty of stuff. And they're also kind of sorted by tiers. Uh, do you want to explain tiers, Smile? Yeah, sure. You've got tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, and tier 5. Obviously, tier 5 is the strongest, but tier 5 raids and the content within tier 5 are extremely difficult. So, you need to start from tier 1. And then you get the tier 1 armor set. Once you completed that, you do the same for tier 2 by completing the solos, duos, alerts, and raids within tier 2. Same goes for tier 3, leading up to tier 4, then leading up to tier 5. But it's not so simple. It's not so easy. You have to gain marks within all these, in all these instances to actually buy these armor sets that progress you to becoming stronger, stronger villain, stronger hero. And not just that, it, it, you know, it entitles you to explore the storyline within DC Universe. Like, for instance, Tier 5 Raid in, involves uh, Lex Luthor, Ninja Batman, and stuff like that. Exactly, yeah, very cool. And well, let's talk about the, the different gears. Obviously, you've got the tier uh, level gear. Um, what, do the, what does this gear kind of look like? Gear. So the gear is very iconic. It's, I mean, you've got the Superman gear, you've got the Batman gear, and the gear related to that actually relates to that iconic character. And you can, you can actually kind of look like Batman, you can look like Superman, but then again, you can put your own twist on this gear. There's lots of uh, gear related to those iconics. Like I said, you can mix things up, and the gear is very, very detailed. The colours, the texture, the designs of the gear... I mean, uh, Central City gear, like you'll have electric coming off your gear. That's a very, very cool gear to have. You look very cool, you look powerful, and it looks like super speed. And there's just so many styles that you can be to get that exact look that you want for your hero that, or villain that you've created. Um, so speaking of creating things, you can actually build up your own lair which is one of the coolest features that they have in this game. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Smile? Um, I think your lair, uh, it could be a lot better, to be honest. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> lair is one of the most exciting things in DC Universe because it gives you that space away from the universe, away from everyone. You can decorate your lair with furniture. You can colour your... Your lair, the walls, the ceilings, you can hang things off the ceilings. You can actually make your lair themed. Um, for instance, my lair is all about smoke for death, of course. It's deathly, it's got coffins, it's got skulls, it's got a torture chamber downstairs. It looks pretty sick. I do believe your your base is a little different. Yeah. Like um, what I really like about it, the lairs as well is you have this mainframe, and from the mainframe you can do different things. You can call in like a sidekick. 
um, you can call back up, you can even call down a huge orbital strike to come and destroy enemies, all powered from your base. So it's like a mini, like, like Batcave. You can imagine Batman kind of all these controls from his, uh, from his Batcave. So really, really like that. And you've got loads of themes, like you said, Gothic. There's a sewer theme. Um, there's loads of themes to. Yeah, you, you can, can buy take. lots of themes off the marketplace. They're they're a little a few quid, but if you buy them, they're very detailed. They're pretty. They're either pretty, dark, gloomy, gritty. You got the, you got a lot to choose from, and not just that. When you have your own lair, like you was uh, Orbit was mentioning about sidekicks, Orbit strikes, and all that, you can also evaluate uh, white mods into your gear, which makes you even stronger. For instance, you have a mod that gives you a shield, or a mod that will give you health back. So for PvP, you'll gain more health. So there's lots of customizations when it comes to the white mods within the lair. Their lair allows you to build on your character. Not only does the tier 1 to 5 build your character, you need a lair to get to the next step of becoming the next big thing. Exactly, okay. And another good feature of DC is, of course, the leagues. You can create a league or you can join a league. And the leagues are really, really cool. Do you want to explain a little bit about leagues, Smile? Well, at the moment, I'm solo, but I've been in leagues. And leagues are a good place to start off in DC Universe. Reasons being is because you have people to play with, to talk to, to find that information. I mean, even if you're not talking in the league chat. For instance, you might hear your friends talking about a certain subject. And you're going to learn something about the game every day. Because everyone is doing something different. And the league just entitles you to get kind of lost within the game without actually being there. You can learn a lot by being in the league. And also, you can have a lot of fun. You can have all your close friends in your league, have a good chat on the mic or type away as much as you want. Um, and I do believe you can have league management, which you can set ranks to your soldiers, if that's what you'd like to call your members. I mean, I do believe you have league management in your league all bit, and... You manage all your heroes with certain rankings. Yeah, I mean, I've got the first four, which are kind of like just telling them what role they are. So the first one would be DPS, the next one would be tank, then healer and controller, which are all of the roles you can play. And then um, it goes on to like officer um, and, you know, higher ranks as you go up through. Have you still got that sausage peeler corner? No. <laughs> I never so had you, that. even down to that, you can have a little laugh if you mm. think you can make a, a corner, like a title called Sausage Peeler or anything that's humorous to kind of, if someone's being naughty or they're having a bit too much, you know, drink and they're being a bit silly, you can put them in the silly corner and they're going to go, oh, I'm in the silly corner and everyone can have a laugh. So it's a <laughs> fun environment to be in. Awesome. Well, let's finish off with a review with, of course, PvP, which is why I play the game. Yeah, PvP is the most exciting thing about DC Universe. Yeah, P the battle system is very, very cool. It's like, this is kind of his main selling point, is it's actually like an action game. Like, you, you're, a lot of MMOs um, aren't so fast-paced, but DC's PvP system is really, really fast-paced, really fast. You can... Um, block, you can block break the, the mechanics Lance. are really really good well really it's you're in control of every move you do from punching twice to three times to four times to doing a combo to involving a block break or blocking during a combo you know every single action you do is through your finger it's not uh, a macro set where you know you have to wait for like a power to finish or you know like other MMOs where it takes a time for you to use a power, then they use one, and then every button you press has this consequence behind it. So either a good one or a bad one. Yeah, exactly right. Well, apart from that, guys, um, this is kind of a few things that you should be expecting in DC Universe Online. Um, come and join us. Come and come and join me and Smile in this game. Oh yes. Apart from that. That's it. I don't know how to finish this review, but yeah, there you go, guys. Yeah, thank you very much.